you're not. It's that simple. Second one is to notice the tension of thought and the tension of physical stress that's held by you by unconsciously thinking all the time. And as you notice your thought stream and the relentless, irrelevant thoughts, mostly irrelevant thoughts that go through your mind unconsciously, as soon as you make them conscious, something in you is already more centered. And in addition to that centeredness, to that consciousness, to that higher awakeness, you're also more inclined to take a deep breath and relax your body and your mind. Because you see the stress you're putting on yourself unnecessarily. And when you're aware of that and you see it's not serving you, you automatically let go of it. Does that make sense? Third one is to focus as much of your consciousness as you can into the present moment. The fourth one is to cultivate the attitude to be in the feeling of I'm completely uninterested in anything any single thought has to offer me right now. And then you remain in that blankness, in that freedom, that space. The fifth one is to ignore, to turn your back on thoughts altogether. Just ignore whatever thoughts come up, just ignore, don't enter them, just ignore them. And as you keep ignoring them, more and more silence replaces the thoughts. Silence is very beneficial. I don't talk about it a lot because it can create this idea of what silence is and needing to be silent all the time, which is not my intention. But it is very helpful to pick your moments of silence throughout the day. And what is silence? Silence is not so much the absence of sound, or the absence of thoughts even. Silence is the stillness of your own consciousness. It doesn't matter how many thoughts you have throughout a day, that consciousness which is aware of the thoughts, the space from which you notice the thoughts, is itself always dead silent, quiet as a mouse, still, unchanging, present, alive. It's not thinking. If it was thinking, it could not be aware of thoughts. Its only function is to be aware, to be, and to be aware. And that is, we could call it a silence, a stillness, a presence, a quietude, a peace, an ease. And so to take these moments for yourself is as crucial, spiritually speaking, as it is to breathe to the physical body. So breathe. Breathe in spirit. Breathe in presence. Breathe in stillness. Again, you don't have to sit and force yourself to be quiet for 20 minutes or an hour or three hours. Simply take those two to five seconds. Whenever you remember that you are putting unnecessary tension on yourself, whenever you notice that, whenever you notice that you're running out of spiritual breath, out of vital breath, out of awakeness breath, out of consciousness breath, whenever you notice that you're growing a little unconscious, take that deep breath, sigh, Relax your interest on thoughts. They are not that interesting. They really are not that interesting. Most of them aren't anyway. And relax and be alive to this which is alive. This which is already here. The silence is not something you create. It is something you return to. It is something you become aware of. But the silence itself is your essence. It's from which place you already notice thoughts when they are present. When you notice a chaotic relentless, loud, noisy mind, a monkey mind, if you will. When you're noticing that, that which is noticing the thoughts is itself deeply quiet, deeply at peace, like the center of a wheel remains at the same spot, centered, still. So too, the center of your being is completely still, around which all this activity, all these bodies, the spiritual body, mental body, emotional body, physical body, revolve. But you are the center from which they are all observed. Awareness is that still center that sees in all directions. So the two to five seconds can be applied to any spiritual practice that you are most in resonance with at this time. It doesn't just have to be to recognize presence. It can be to recognize awareness, to recognize beyondness. It can be to set an intention. It can be whatever it is. It can be to be silent. The two to five seconds is simply a template that you can apply to pretty much anything you wish to experience or realize. And it's just this easy way to remember to take that moment of consciousness, to take that breath. And whatever you want to breathe in is completely up to you. But those two to five seconds is just this fun idea you can repeat throughout the day. I suggest you take at least 12 moments 
every day. That's okay. Some days you completely forget to take even a single one, and that's completely all right. But the days that you do remember, the days where you wake up with the intention to become more conscious of something, of yourself, of your deeper self, make it a habit, make it a point to really take those two to five seconds at least 12 times a day.